other countries are like like you know they're crashing on the moon right 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 they're not right. even yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Mars, Mars dude <laughs> with an atmosphere and stuff like it's crazy M-A-R-S. yeah A R S Red Mars <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly so we've been obsessed with Mars for a long time that's been sort of our our go to place to try and find um, signatures of alien life the Curiosity rover which was launched in the 2010s that had a primary mission of trying to find habitable qualities in mm-hmm. Mars. And the Curiosity rover found signs of liquid water, mm-hmm. right? And so everyone was really excited. It's like, okay, there's liquid water. The next thing we should do is try to equip um, a laboratory on Mars that can run around like a rover and also have all of the tools necessary to sort of do these chemical analyses on the spot and try to look for biosignatures. And that's where the Perseverance rover came in. And honestly, like, you know, when the Mars Perseverance rover was launched, I think it was in 2020, um, during the first Trump administration, there was a, there was a five year search to figure out where to put it. OK. OK. Right. Because you only got one thing. This thing's the size of an SUV. Mm-hmm. You got one shot. JPL is worried about, OK, once we have a once we have a spot, how do we get it down there? Jet Propulsion Lab, for those who don't know. That's the Jet Propulsion Lab out in Pasadena, um, one of Caltech's little side projects. Um, and, you know, so there was there were 60 different candidate sites okay. that they were trying to figure out. Oh, they had a Mars Love Island. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> and then there was an international collaboration to try and figure out what is the best place to go. Right. Okay. And what they settled on was this place called the Jezero Crater. Okay. And that's the JPL decided, okay, we're going to go to the Jezero Crater. They landed it there, which is a feat in itself. In itself. Right. Yeah. This is a SUV packed with like a whole building's worth of lab equipment, <laughs> right? That that like you're you're trying to drop and the lab equipment has to be resilient to the heartache of getting off the earth. Yes. Going all the way to Mars, then doing a landing on Mars, right? And then everything working. Everything perfectly. works. And I it's still just such a testament to our engineering capabilities yep. that we are able to do this in one shot. Yep. And like we're just like really good at it mm-hmm. at this point, right? Mm-hmm. At this point, if like JPL fails and like it crashes, we'd be like, oh, mm-hmm. you guys suck. Like, <laughs> but, but you know, like it's actually insane right. how many how many like how many failure modes there are, mm-hmm. and none of them ever fail. Like mm-hmm. James James Webb Space Telescope, there was so many failure modes and it just like didn't fail right because like the nasa engineers are that good mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and 